Hi, this is Manos Brilakis, and this is case 160 for the Manual of Percutaneous Coronary Intervention. This is a case illustrating use of the blocking balloon technique. The patient presented with unstable angina, and coronary angiography demonstrated a significant lesion in the diagonal. The LAD doesn't look too bad in this view. However, as I will show you, there was significant lesion by coronary physiology, and there is also some disease in the distal left main. These are different views showing again a di diagonal lesion. LAD doesn't seem too bad, but the DPR was 0 0.78, which is the equivalent of the IFR, and the step up was right at the bifurcation. There was no significant disease in the right coronary artery, and this is intravascular ultrasound, which is very important, where there's some discrepancy between coronary uh, angiography and physiology. Coming back into the LAD, we see there's some uh, disease, but non-significant obstruction. But as we go close to the bifurcation, there's a significant lesion, which is right after the takeoff of the diagonal branch. And then as we come more proximal in the left main, um, there is no significant disease into the left main. So the plan was to do PCI of the LAD diagonal bifurcation using the DK crust technique. We predilated the diagonal, and then we placed the balloon into the LAD and the stent into the diagonal, having a slight protrusion of the diagonal stent into the LAD. The stent was deployed in the diagonal, and what happened is a carina shift. We do have significant now lesion that uh, we can see in the LAD. We did have the balloon there, so we did do the balloon inflation, crushing the diagonal stent. And then... Uh, um, after we rewired, uh, we did the first kissing balloon inflation, and then we placed uh, the LED stand across the origin of the diagonal branch, deployed the LED stand, jailing the diagonal, and uh, we now have good flow, but of course we need to rewire and do the final kissing balloon inflation. Before doing that, we did the proximal optimization technique with a short balloon, but then we had a lot of difficulty. We tried different wires. We tried a Sion Black and a Pilot and didn't work. Um, we tried a dual lumen microcaster, it didn't work. And then we decided to try the deflection balloon technique, which is one of the techniques that can be used to advance a guide wire through tortuosity into a side branch. So this is a 3.0 by six millimeter balloon that is inflated into the LED. And we're trying to advance a Sion black wire into the diagonal branch. The wire seems to be getting that direction. However, we did have some difficulty advancing it further. Uh, we did zail the guide wire in the diagonal, so we know exactly where the vessel is. But then after additional manipulation of the guide wire, and with the support of the blocking balloon, we see finally the wire releases and is advanced to the diagonal branch. So this is an illustration of the blocking balloon technique for advancing a guide wire into a side branch. However, we then had difficulty with equipment advancement. We could not uh, get uh, a Corsair microcatheter despite having another 30 by 6 for anchoring. But uh, we also could not get a 1.0 by 15 millimeter sapphire balloon. But then we used <coughs> a guide extension. And by advancing the guide extension close to the origin of the diagonal, essentially almost all the way, <coughs> we were then able to advance the balloon into the diagonal branch. So we're able to do the kissing balloon inflation. We did repeat coronary physiology. And uh, now the IFR had significantly improved. There was a slight step up, but it was 0 0.90. And we did intravascular ultrasound that showed a good expansion of the stand. And again, there was no significant disease. So in summary, this case illustrates use of the blocking balloon for advancing a guide wire into a side branch. In this technique, we inflate a balloon right after the ostium of the side branch, and that balloon blocks the wire from getting into the main vessel and then helps direct it into the side branch. We then had difficulty delivering equipment over this guide wire, which was overcome by using a guide extension deeply intubated almost all the way to the origin of the diagonal branch. Thank you.